we plan to go here and we plan to go there and God sometimes he redirects our plans hallelujah to the lamb of god that's what the bible says it says in a man's heart he plans his life but it's the lord that decides where his steps will take him hallelujah to the lamb of god so the lord jesus is the boss hallelujah he gives direction to his servants and sometimes he moves us around like a chess piece and he puts us in position to minister to certain people, rebuke certain people, exhort certain people. The Bible says that we should preach the word to be ready in season and out of season to reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and teaching. Because there is a time coming in this time. The time is now where people don't endure the truth. And we're going to have to continue to stand on God's word in a, an apostate degenerate generation a backslidden church a lukewarm generation of believers we're going to have to stand for the Lord we're going to have to stand against evil we're going to have to stand against the workers of iniquity and contend for their souls hallelujah to the lamb of god if we love the lord and we love people we're going to have to contend for their souls and sometimes there's going to be spiritual blood hallelujah to the lamb of god you're going to swing the sword of the spirit when you use that sword it's going to draw spiritual blood people's gonna get angry people's gonna get upset people's gonna get wounded because you're gonna use the sword to expose the lies and it cuts people it makes them angry but we got to continue to stand for the Lord we got to continue to preach the truth we are in a time of apostasy where very little people are standing on biblical truth they have watered down and diluted the gospel they have watered down and diluted god's word and now there's no punch there's no conviction it's only soft effeminate emotionalism a lot of motivating speeches with no conviction we need to preach against sin we need to warn of the judgment sinners are under judgment the bible says that those who believe in the Son have everlasting life, and those who do not believe in the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides upon them. These people need to understand that the wrath of God abides upon them because of sin, because of rebellion, because they are not connected to the kingdom. They are living outside of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and they are standing as an enemy. And we need to tell the people the truth, even if it hurts their feelings. The Bible says that the wounds from a friend, it can be trusted. But an enemy multiplies kisses. A friend is going to wound you with his words. If he loves you, he's going to tell you the truth. He's going to confront you in your iniquity. He's going to confront you in your rebellion. He's going to tell you the truth. He's going to tell you, look, you're going to go to hell if you keep being a drunkard and you keep living in rebellion towards God. You keep turning to drugs. Come to the Lord. Get right with God. This is what a friend's going to do because he cares about you. He's going to see that your house is on fire and you're not recognizing it. And he's going to grab a rock and throw it out, through, throw it through your window so he can get your attention. And this is what it is when you're out there preaching the word. These people, their house is on fire and they're burning up in the iniquity of sin. And we got to come out there and we got to throw a rock through their window. And preaching the truth and confronting them in their darkness and in their iniquity is like throwing the rock through the window. You get in their attention and say, look, your house is on fire. You're on your way to judgment. You need to get right with the Lord. Come to Jesus. He offers salvation. He offers mercy. But you got to be willing to repent. Jesus said, if you don't repent, you're going to perish. That means you're going to go to hell. That means each and every person that 
chooses not to repent and continue in their life of iniquity outside of the grace of God is going to go to hell. If they do not make a departure from iniquity, they are going to face the judgment for their sin. So we need to preach this gospel. So let's be faithful to the Lord, preachers. Preach the full counsel of God. Preach mercy. But preach the wrath of God. Preach love. But preach God's holy hatred towards sin. Warn people that there is a hell. And that there is a good God that offers salvation and a pardon for their sin. So that they don't have to spend an eternity burning in the torments of hell. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Lift up the name of the Lord out there. There's salvation in no other name.